How you feeling tonight? Are you loving the lights? How you like the strokes? Can you feel the high? Yeah, you loving the vibe, dancing magically. Can't believe what I see. Got me feeling alive, moving to the beat. Can't stop moving my feet, looking, looking super deep into your eyes. You're one of a kind. Yeah, you are super prized. Got me full of love. Can you forever be mine? Welcome back to Run Chats, episode 27. I'm here with Trey Rocks, a local artist from Ottawa, Ontario, where I'm at. I'm going to let him introduce himself, so go ahead, my dude, and introduce yourself. What's good, guys? I'm Trey Rocks, local artist. Um, I don't specify on any genre. I'm just here to grow and learn and just honestly create music and make things you guys love relate to or just can jam out to drink to and have a great time you know that's my goal that's what life is i just want to make everybody feel good and have a amazing time at the end of the day because life is rough life is hard but when you can escape that get to the music have an amazing time find a way to escape life and just be in your own little world that's why i do the thing to make people happy that's it that's all I used to be a hip hop artist too. I know the I know how it goes. You yeah. escape you got you got escapism when you're writing and shit. Oh yeah, man. That's my uh that's my go to now. When I whenever I'm feeling down or anything like that, I have to write because like honestly before when I was a kid I was really big into sports. I was a big athlete. I had a future of going to the CFL. Unfortunately my decisions in life made me not go to where I wanted to be, but Everything happens for a reason, you know what I mean? If maybe if I'll be in the doing playing football, I would never be making music now, you know? So Yeah, I hear you. But uh, what I used to do whenever I was down, I would play sports, mainly basketball or football. But now since I'm in a place and time where I can't I don't have the time or availability to do that anymore, it's always I just love writing some music, writing what's what's wrong, you know? Yeah. Give me one second, bro. Yeah, no, no worries, man. Uh, shit. I dropped my cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> no worries. How's the lighting? Everything's good. I can see you. Okay, word. Yeah. Uh, shout out to my sponsor for the bucket hat, Bandana Canada. Oh, shit. That's a nice hat. I'm going to have to cop myself one of those. Yo, if you want, uh, I'll give you the link, man. He's He's solid. He's got good prices. Yeah, word. Yeah, definitely send me and that. And you can get your own logo and shit on it. Oh, that's tough. Definitely. Yeah, yeah send me, you got to send me the link after. Shout out to, what's his name? Bandana Canada. Bandana Canada. I love it. Yeah. Out of Alberta. Out in Alberta. Hey, let's go. It's, that's a blessed place to live, man. As yeah, he just, sent, he just sent me a huge package, man, like a massive package full of bandanas and shit. Oh, say a word. That's lit. Yeah, I'm like, definitely. I have, like, I have, like, a fucking whole, like, little shop that I could, like, just sell bandanas, man. Like, it's fucking crazy. <laughs> That's tough. Well, you know, if, if you got any, you know, I could always pick it up. Yo, if you want some bandanas, I got you. Yeah, respect. Yeah, definitely. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about that later. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, so, yeah, you're a local artist. I just, I just found you on Instagram a couple of days ago. I, I saw, I think it was Cap City. Uh, vibes, yeah. shout out to Cap City Vibes. Chrissy, what's up? Yeah, uh, big shout out to Cap City Vibes. Yeah, she, uh, I saw you on there, so I was like, I'm going to reach out. That's what I do. I just try to reach out to everybody in the city and like try to like showcase their music and shit. Because I was an artist. I know how hard it is to be an artist in this fucking... Especially nowadays and this time. It fucked up. Like, COVID fucked up the whole game. Oh, yeah, man. It, it ruined it. Yeah, COVID ruined my... Uh... Fucking, man, ruined everything. My money flow, everything. I, I was going to have some shit going on, but then COVID hit, and, you know, you have to worry about life. <laughs> you life gets in the way, bro. You know, and, yeah. And then it just fucked up the whole ability to perform and yeah. get new fans and shit like that. Like, man, COVID was, you know, it struggled, but we lived through it, we passed through it, and we're just, we're we're hitting that finish line, you know, I feel it. Yeah, I just hope, like, people start listening and shit, man, because, like, they're talking about a fourth wave and shit. I'm not trying to fucking have to be, like, all locked in again and shit. You know, especially in Ontario, bro. If anything, yeah. just in Ottawa, man, shit was... Bro, you couldn't buy boxes. I know. You couldn't... 
Yo, you had to go to a certain store to buy diapers. Like, nigga. (laughs) (laughs) Come on, man. Like, you're going to do us like that? You know? So so shutting down all this. Like, I understand it to a point. But, like, man, I worked through all of COVID. Luckily, I never had to, never got laid off or anything like that. But, like, I worked through the entire thing. I lost hours, you know, stuff like that. But I never got sick. And I, I do give empathy and all that to the people that do get sick and stuff. But, like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, like, I, got, I got vaccinated. I, I, did, yeah. I got double vaccinated. So, like, but, hey. like, I was just talking to someone just before or in the interview before you, his brother is double vaccinated and he still got COVID. You know? Like, so, I, so I was like, like it's a, it's it's rare, but like it's unlucky too. You know what I mean? No, for sure. Well, like don't don't like quote me on this or anything like that. But as far as I know, is the vaccination is it it to build your immune system to fight against COVID. You know what I mean? Yeah. Now they're talking about getting another booster and shit. Yeah, like it's gonna be. I I, I saw a meme. It was funny. So um. Have you ever, uh, what is it called again? Uh, Men in Black. Have you wa- you got to watch Men in Black. It's yeah. a classic, you know? Yeah. Uh, the, ver- the first one. And you know the alien that comes down and he takes over that farmer? And then yeah. he looks all fucked up and she's like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, there's a meme of that guy. And it's like, when you're coming in for your 28th vaccination. <laughs> And you have that guy coming in. Well, <laughs> I, I found it funny, but like at, at the end of the day, man, if you, I feel like if you keep yourself healthy, if you listen to the people out there that talk about how to prevent it, like food wise and having the proper vitamins and keeping healthy and keeping your immune system up and all that, you really don't have to worry about it. You know what I mean? Yeah. But like, man life is different everybody's different everybody has a different so everything's different you know what i mean i'm just speaking for myself maybe other people that are kind of like me that's the thing man everybody's different we could freely speak like you know like some people might not want the vaccine like yo that's your choice you know what i mean like that's cool like don't complain later when like you can't get into something you know what i mean it's just it's gonna be a bitch man it's like for me for example i don't i haven't got vaccinated yet but I may do it just so I could be a part of society. Yeah. You know what I mean? Everywhere saying, like, if you're not vaccinated, you can't come in. Like, yeah. So, like, that's the thing. I'm trying to, like, get back out there, like, doing my interviews and shit. And, like, yeah, meet new people and shit. And that's the biggest thing with, like, me and you. We need to, uh, Ex, like not extort ourselves but like you know what i mean um yeah like, promote ourselves. yeah like i'm trying to get people exposed and shit you know what i mean like yeah so like i used to rent like a community center like uh like a room in a community center and do all my interviews there and they just fucking locked down so i can't do it there no more oh man you know That's so I and honestly, do you're giving back to the community doing that. Sorry for cutting cutting you off, but you renting out a room at the community center is giving them money to do things with the community. You know what I mean? I know. I just I just know how it was to be an artist. You know what I mean? So that's yeah. why, like, like especially my podcast, it's different. My podcast is about like the arts and mental health and shit. Like this is about like music, like whatever people do. Like I just had a DJ on. That does like mixes and hip hop and shit from the nineties. So like I had oh, him cool. on, you know, and he sent me a mix and then I have you on, you sent me your track. I'll let you talk about the track in a little bit. Uh but yeah, yeah it's just, I'm trying to like link with people in person and shit, but like I have some mental health shit that I deal with. Like it's hard to be in public and crowds and shit. Like I'm not fucking comfortable. And like I guess it's just because of my past and shit, you know what I mean? Oh yeah, I I understand, man. Pass has a big pl- a big place to play. Like some I have people anxiety. Just, some people just can't like let shit go. You know what I mean? Oh, for sure, man. For sure, it's hard. It's man. Sometimes you need to go through a whole ass adventure with yourself. You have to be alone. And you have to figure out yourself. You know? Yeah, definitely. But yeah, so you want to talk about that track you sent me? 
Yeah, so the track, How You Feel. So um, that track, I took me about a year to make, but the reason why is because I, I want to say every little bit about that track was all from my heart, how I felt. It It is from, like, two different scenes. So the first verse I wrote, the hook and the verse I wrote at one point, and then eventually I just writer's block i guess you could say that's just an excuse at the end of the day but that shit happened so i didn't write for a bit i was just doing my shit and then i got back into it some shit happened i got emotional so i got back into the song and then it's just basically about you know relationships love you know just like being in love with somebody fighting all the time like things being rough but when you guys are together it's the best time you know everything's great and like even though you guys kind of want to like fight or like do all these terrible things or you go your separate ways you always find it you always end up back in the same path you always end up back together and it's just like how it is with some people you know what i mean and if i had that relationship and it yeah. sucks and like it, you know you learn a lot though that's the one thing about it is you learn a lot between yourself and what you want and all that stuff and like For yeah sure. it's just like everything from the heart you know like about relationships love um you know some light skin shit <laughs> <laughs> but yeah so we'll i'll play that you have a video for that don't you yeah it's on youtube i think i i sent you the the video itself if you like i could send you the link to or if you want you can search it up on youtube it's just trey rocks and it'll come up how you feel. Yeah, no, I'm going to post it at the end of this video after we talk so like people can see it at the end. Okay, word, yeah. And then, yeah, we made the video. I was kind of, co uh, like, no, I don't want to say copying, but got my inspiration from, like, uh, I call him Six Black. Other people call him Black. Some people call him Six Lack. Yeah, I know. I know who you're talking about. Yeah, but Black, you know what I mean. He, uh, I, I listen to him a lot. Uh, Chris Brown is another person for like my R and B shit, and then Trey Songs, Usher. Um, so you're like, like the, you're like back in the day, like you're like old school, like R and B, like the like classic. Yeah. Like, I, uh, I, yeah, I don't really fucks with the new school R and B really anymore, like anything but yeah the old school r and I, I like 2000s you know what i mean yeah definitely like 2010 that r and b was hard bro that shit came from the heart yeah you from the 90s to like 2010 man like it was a dope era and then everything just started changing people started making drill music people started making like trap music and everything like people yeah. started singing like people that you thought wouldn't sing start singing and i'm like what the fuck Facts, bro. Facts. But, you know, it's it's good in a point where, like, it's something new. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's catchy and shit, but, like, it's not uh, something I'm going to remember after. Uh, I, I, yeah, man. Like, I, I miss I miss the old school R&B. Like, even Chris Brown, he, even, he still has it, but it's new school. You know what I mean? Like, he yeah. adapted to the culture. You know what I mean? He... To me, Chris Brown is kind of a legend. Whatever he did on his own shit, whatever. You know what I mean? But art is a, as an artist, Chris yeah. Brown, people are going to hate me for this, but should be up there with Michael Jackson. Hands down. I can't... You know what I mean? Like, it, yeah. I, he, he's, he's, he's a great artist and shit. You know what I mean? But yeah. like, he, he really fucked up his image. Oh, yeah. Hands down. You know what I mean? But that's... Like, some people... like. That's where me, as, like, a fan, I don't... Like, I'm over that. Like, it happened. Yeah, like, I'm you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Rihanna's a billionaire now. She doesn't give a shit about that black eye. No. You know? And it's old. Probably a lot of kids don't even know about that now. You know what I mean? But, like, it fucked up a lot of things. But even him being able to go through all that, almost getting his career ruined, and still strive as an artist, I don't want to say as a person or anything, because I don't know his personal life. I don't pay attention to that. That's not me. I just like to listen to the music. You know what I mean? That's what's important to me is the music yeah. and how, you know, you know, the personal life, it's, you know, it's, if you idolize the person, care about it. But if you just like the music, stick with that. You know what I mean? 
Yeah, definitely. But, like, yeah, so, like, I don't know. I find it like that. And, like, what I'm trying to do is, with my music, is I don't want to be generalized with any certain type. You know what I mean? I don't want to be called a rapper. I don't want to be called R&B. I want to be an artist. You know what I mean? I want to be able to make any type of music I want to. I don't want to be, oh, what? He made a uh, R&B song? Or he made a, ra- a rock song. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. something I never even tried before. He made a rock song? That's because shit's going to be trash. I don't want that. I want, what well, he could do this. He could do that. Man, this man could act. I want to be like, uh, almost like, uh, what's his name? Oh, he plays in, uh, Django. Oh, fucking fuck. Oh, uh, how am I going to forget his name? Uh, but he plays in Django. You know what I'm t- talking about? Yeah, I think so. I think it is. Who? Something Fox. Oh, Jamie, Fo- Jamie Fox. Jamie Fox. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That man, a lot of people probably don't know because he's not like so blown up, but that man can do everything. He can do comedy, he can sing, he can rap, he can act, he can do all that shit. And like comedy is not really in my side as things as I want to do, but I would like to act, you know what I mean? But right now I'm focusing on the rapping and the mu- not even rap music. Yeah. Well, my my thing, we're going to start doing, like, different, like, comedy sketches and shit. So if you want to just start doing acting, you can start helping us out with comedy sketches and shit when we start doing them again. Bro, yes, please. You got my, you got, you can contact me and I'll be about it. I won't be, I'm not, I'm not big on being on camera. That's why I'm trying to find other actors. I'm just going to direct it. <laughs> Word, I'm about it. I love I just love being, I mean, I played sports all my life, so I've always been in the spotlight, you know what I mean? So I don't have a problem with that. Like, we have a couple sketches already prepared, but we're just waiting for people, like, that we could find to start, like, doing the shit, you know what I mean? So, like, we're going to well, do, do some got- comedy and, like, maybe a short film one day. I'm trying to figure it out. Yeah, just for trying sure. to create, man, because I, I still write music, but I don't record it, you know what I mean? It's just, it's just a oh, getaway. Shit. Man, half uh, half of the, my music I write, I don't even release, record, anything, you know what I mean? So I understand. I understand. Yeah. So this this is what I do. I'm a rapper turned podcaster. Okay. That's nice, though. That's like, At least, you know, that's that's dope because you have, like, the knowledge, you know what I mean? Now you're doing the podcasting and you can share. And honestly, big respect to you on freaking uh, trying to shout out rappers like me and myself, you know what I mean? Yeah, I've been I've been doing artists from everywhere, man. I got artists from Florida, Atlanta. I've been doing them all over. Yo, that's great. That's heavy respect, man. We need more people like you out in the world because there is so much art and there is so much art technically. Doesn't matter if it's music, videos, yeah, painting. That's what I'm saying, man. Everybody uses art as a help like for a resource, like even if like like I said, it helps with mental health and shit. You know what I mean? People go to it. Definitely, man. Just listening to the right song will make you happy. Definitely. You know what I mean? Like, it's, yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. That's that's something you need for life, forever. Yeah. Just, the thing with just, me is I have a big, my bad, go ahead. What were you saying? I was just saying, like, that's just something you need for life just to, like, be human. You know what I mean? Just to, to stay on ground. You just need something to make you happy. You know what I mean? And a lot of people, it's art. Yeah, definitely. No matter what form it is, it's just art. You know, yeah. that's what it is, man. But what were you saying, man? Uh, fuck, I forget. I'm I'm stone. <laughs> I'm high as shit. So. No worries. I had <laughs> my bong rips and shit. Now I'm drinking a beer. That's cool. I'm just enjoying the day, you know. Yeah, I had pasties like a motherfucker, man. I was like talking to my the other dude, and I'm like losing my voice. I'm like, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I understand that, man. There's yeah. nothing worse than going to a party or something, not having a drink, but you fucking smoke the fuck up, and you're just stuck there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just, standing by the, just standing by the sink, getting water. Yeah, yeah. You know, the struggles, the struggles, but, you know, it's like... <laughs> You yeah. laugh at it at the end of the day, you know? Oh, hell yeah, man. That's all I all I do is smoke, man. I'm a fucking avid smoker. That's what I do. Oh, me too, man. Me too. Don't. Well, like, after work, you know what I mean? After work, yeah. 
I'm hitting the bong as soon as possible. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. And it helps with my music and stuff, you know what I mean? So that's, it gets me like in the flow, you know what I mean? Yeah. I don't want to say it helps, like I could write sober anytime, but like when it comes to like me actually flowing with words, when I smoke or drink, it's just like a whole new person. It's weird. Yeah. But I don't want to say I need it, you know what I mean? At the end of the day, if I'm up in the spot and you need me to do something, I'm doing it. <laughs> So what are you working on next? Like, what you have something coming out again? Like, what do you have next? Yeah, so I actually I have two songs finished, been finished for a while. Don't ask me why I haven't recorded them. I just I guess I haven't had the time. But they're two um, kind they're uh, I guess you would say like breakup songs, heartbreak songs. You know, I like, like that shit, man. For some reason, I like sad songs. Yeah, me too, man. I love it. And that's like kind of, I don't want to say I'm kind of, I want to be on that path because I also like making hype songs, but you know who these makes songs I are bet. like, what? No worries, man. I'm so, I, I'm sorry. I'm like, you know, I, I apologize. Okay, you know, man. You're yeah. on the show to talk. I, like I said, you could freely talk. It doesn't matter to me. I was yeah. just going to say, like, Dallas Green makes like some of the best sad songs. Oh, I'm gonna have to. Uh, I'm gonna have to check him out. I don't think he's I not, know. Uh, he's not hip hop. He's he's he. Uh, fuck. Who was he with? I forget the band he was with. Uh was Arcade Fire? I think. Okay. Uh, I'll just write up Dallas Green on YouTube, and I'm pretty sure I'll fi- I'll find yeah, it. Man. Check out like it's called Cassie's song. It's just a fucking sad ass song. Word. I'm definitely gonna have to check that out because yeah, those are. I feel like the saddest the song. Or whatever, like sad songs are better because that's the ones with the real emotion and heart. You could, you know I mean? Yeah, you're gonna trigger people's emotions and shit. You know what yeah, I mean? You're letting loose. You know what I mean? You're you're. It's almost like your diary. You're writing your diary, but in a rhythmic form with rhymes and shit. You know, but like it's just so true, and it's you could relate because everybody's been through a fucking shitty relationship. Everybody's been through a heartbreak. You yeah. know what I mean? So it's just, it is what it is, and it's life, you know what I mean? You just got to share it with people sometimes, but, like, yeah, there's... got to be, you got to be true as an artist, man. You got to be authentic. You can't, you can't just make songs behind a wall. You got to, like, you got to be uh, yourself. Yeah, that's my hardest uh, thing, being an artist, is uh, talking about fake shit. Don't get me wrong, I may boost about some things, but talking about something that you never really... You never done seen or anything. I, it's really hard for me to to do that. You know what I mean? Yeah, you can tell pe- by people, man. Like I, I know when people are faking it, and like, but I mean, that's a lot. There's a lot of people that do that, and like, no. not in just Ottawa. Ottawa has a lot of like good artists, but there's a lot of people that just all sound the same. Yeah, just trying to copy somebody or something like that, and you can't. You have to be yourself. Yeah. To be- artists you have to come what you feel you know that that's what how i feel at least like my best songs that i write is when i'm truly feeling it like in my body in my heart you know what i mean those are the best songs like how you feel i feel like that is hands down my best song i've written so far because that came truly from my soul i want to say you know what i mean like yeah almost every word is just what i felt at the time you know what i mean and with these two songs i'm coming out uh going to record and eventually release hopefully within the next like i want to say four months because um in the in two weeks from now one of my buddies he uh just finished schooling uh shout out to urban blend production they helped me out with all my videos they helped me record this video but uh he's taking a little vacation for two weeks because he's been grinding Heavy respect to him and all that. Just got his degree in, um, I don't really know what it's for, but I know it's for, like, music arts, you know what I mean? Production, yeah. mixing, mastering, all this stuff. But he just finished that after three years, so he's taking a two-week vacation. And then when he gets back, we are grinding videos. I'm We're going to try to make uh, five videos for the mixtape I ha- have out on SoundCloud. Check it out, Trey Rock, SoundCloud. So we're going to try to make five videos for the, there's six songs, but we're going to do five videos because a reason is one of the songs is called 50 Shades of Trey. 
Yeah. And I'm in no position to make a video like that right now. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, uh, so we're going to try to make a video for all the songs except that song. And then we're also working on another song called SI um, about a Honda Civic SI. And then, uh, and then I have also again, like I repeated myself a couple times. I have two songs finished that I just need to record that are breakup songs that uh, I really feel like people really like. Especially one of them is um, I don't know, but my flow on that song is better than any flow I ever had. And it's a uh, it's a mix of rapping and singing. And at one point, I rap, sing, rap, sing, and I, I find it's pretty good. Nah, I'm not. It Fuck sounds that. interesting. Yeah, I'm gonna take that back. I don't want to say if I find it's pretty good. It's gonna be fucking amazing, immaculate. <laughs> you know, you what I'm boost yourself, bro. That's what it's about. You gotta brand yourself, man. Exactly. You but gotta yeah, this sell song... yourself, dog. Pardon me. You gotta sell yourself in the game. Yo, facts, bro. Facts. Yo, straight, straight facts. Hundred yep. percent. But yeah, man. This song, man, I, honestly... I I started my podcast. Started networking and shit. Got sponsors and shit for the show, so like, they send me gear. They send me, like I said, they send me all types of shit. Like, oh, sick, bro. You must have been grinding the hustle for that. Yeah, bro. I, I just sick. knew if we have a sponsor and shit, like I could promote their shit, and then when I'm in town and shit, like I'm good to go wherever. So, oh, that's great, man. I I respect I swear, I respect the grind, man. That's that's great. You're going yeah. somewhere. You just can't quit. You know what I mean? They, I have a I have a saying where it's like um the only time you truly lose is when you quit. Yeah, I have a you know I have I mean? a hard time with fucking my mental health. So like some days I'm like fuck, I don't want to do it, and then like I'll just get back. Like it's I'm up and down. You know what I mean? No, I I I've been there, man. I um luckily for me, I've uh been able to like heal myself in that way i found my own way everybody has their way you know what i mean to heal themselves in that way yeah look for me I, I was able to do that and right now i'm not i'm kind of medicated i'm not even gonna lie but um other than that i found my like don't don't worry myself. about the medicated thing i'm medicated too bro pardon i'm medicated too so like i understand yeah you know what i mean but like my my biggest thing is like the, your mental as long as you keep positive mindsets and you keep positive everything will be positive your emotions your because everything's mental right man like if you're thinking everything's going to be terrible it's gonna it's gonna happen unfortunately but if you keep happy you keep this you keep that it's gonna happen you know what i mean you just gotta yeah, yeah. keep thinking it keep thinking it pronounce it out in the world and shit will happen you know what i mean and not only that, but you also have to do something, you know? Yeah. You have to make yourself happy. You have to see what's going on and this and that and cut out the bad and move more towards the good. And It takes a lot of sacrifice and stuff from my own experience. You know, I had to lose a lot of friends and stuff like that. and I had to put myself in the path of goodness and the path of, I don't want to say goodness, but the path that would make me happy as an individual, you know what I mean? Yeah. And at the end of the day, no one's waking up thinking, I'm going to keep Hanley happy for the day, you know what I mean? Or nobody's waking up saying, I'm going to keep Trey happy. The only people that are waking up to do that is ourselves, you know what I mean? Yeah. So that's what we can never forget, is the only true, the true MVP and the true all-star is yourself, you know what I mean? That's, you got to sure. worry about number one, number one's yourself, until you have a kid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Definitely. And then when you have that kid, then you become number two. <laughs> yeah. Fortunately, I um, I don't have a child, so I'm straight. Oh, yeah, you're good. So you're number one, so you got to fix that, 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 you know, you got to focus on yourself right now. But as I see from my own personal self, you know what I mean? You're doing good, bro. You got your podcast going. You got you got things. You got your sponsors. You, you know, you got your views. You know what I mean? You, you're, you're doing something. You know what I mean? And it's yeah. only going to go up from here, you know? It's only going to go up from here. Yeah, definitely. I appreciate that. Yeah, no problem, man. I, you know, just from my own experience, you know, I finally got myself in a happy place. I want to say it's been like a year now. So I just want to share, you know? 
Yeah, I hear you. That's the biggest thing is knowledge. You know, it helps everybody. You just gotta share it. <laughs> Word. All right, I think we'll cut it here, and uh, I'll let you uh, give your Instagram links and shit if you want. Go ahead. Yeah, yo. So I'm Trey Rocks Twenty on Instagram. Check me out. Trey Rocks on YouTube. Check that out. I got two videos up. How you feel? Great video. It may, you may vibe. Not not even you are gonna vibe with it. It's a great song. Amazing video. My team, Urban Blend, Urban Blend Productions. Check them out. Instagram. They help me out a lot with that. And that's my team, Urban Be- Urban Blend Productions. That's my team. Me and them, Trey Rocks on Instagram. Check that shit out. Trey Rocks 20 on SoundCloud. Got a mixtape out. Six songs. Check that shit out. And if anything, check out BLD on SoundCloud. That's a fucking bump. I promise you that. And other than that, I want to thank Han- Hanley. Big shout out to him. And it's, uh, what was the your YouTube channel name again? We're on Rum Chats right now. Rum chat. Oh, okay. Weird. Well, the pod- podcast is on the line with, and the YouTube is Rum Chats. Okay. Well, big shout out to Rum Chats and big shout out to on the line with this man reached out for me. From yo, do some Instagram posts just like that. Just reached out, gave me the opportunity to share my music, share my myself, my personality, my thoughts, and everything. And I hope I'm able to. Uh, Maybe come on another little view like this again, or his podcast, or maybe yeah. I'll be on one of his skits. You never know. But big shout out and much respect and love to you, bro. Yeah, definitely, bro. I got you. So anytime when you have new music, just holler at me. We could always connect again. Yeah. I don't mind having second appearances on the show. Hey, well, maybe every track I drop, you'll be seeing me, my homie. <laughs> yeah, just hit me up. I could drop it on my channel and shit. Yo, much respect, definitely, man. Next track I'm dropping, you're gonna, yo, I'm gonna give you a sneak peek, my dude. Just don't let right. anybody our little pay. <laughs> no worries, I keep everything quiet. Don't worry, I have mixtapes from people that haven't released it yet. Word, yo, that's so, big respect, man. You're a great dude. You're a great yeah, dude. So. Everything I'm hearing, you show me, my man. You're you're an amazing guy, and keep it up, bro. What part of the city are you in? Pardon? What part of the city are you in? I'm in the West End, but um, I'm mobile, so, you know, I could go anywhere. You should come through on time and we could burn one. I'm in the East. Yeah, I'm about it, bro. We'll uh, we'll talk about it on Instagram, and I'm definitely down, man. Sounds good. Then we could do something live. We'll have an Instagram live session or something. Hey, that would be hype. Yeah, man, for sure. Uh, yo, anytime you want to do something, anytime you need help with music, art, anything you want to record, you need an actor, artist, dire- I don't care, bro. Whatever you need, I will do it. And if I don't know how to do it, I'll figure out how to do it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. You could, maybe we could fucking collab and be part, combine our teams in a way. Yo, I'm so down about that. And I know my team is so down about that, too. Yeah, we should talk about it. We'll figure that out. Yeah, for sure, man. Yeah, for sure. Yo, a bigger team is, yo, this big saying, I got this from Wiz, uh, no, not Wiz, oh, what's his name? He used to, uh, he was a part of Hobson's old thing, uh, back when they were funk volume. Dizzy Wright. Oh, yeah. The teamwork makes the dream work. <laughs> it's true. It's so, man, it's true. The teamwork makes the dream work, you know, and. That's what we're going to do, bro. I'm all about it, man. I'm on board. All right, bro. So, like I said, this was uh, episode 27, I believe. Fuck, I lost count. I'm stoned. Uh, but we got Trey Rocks, local Ottawa artist. We'll have more of them soon, I'm sure. And you'll check yeah. out his video after this conversation. So, uh, thanks again for coming on, my dude. It was good talking to you. Yo, blessings, bro. Have a great, Have a great night, man. You too, my dude. Hey, right, take care, homie. All right, peace.
the lights How you like the strokes Can you feel the high Yeah, you love in the vibe Dancing magically Can't believe what I see Got me feeling alive Moving to the beat Can't stop moving our feet Looking, looking super deep Into your eyes You're one of a kind Yeah, you are super prized Got me full of love Can you forever be mine? Stuck in my mind Wonder how you feel Smiling all the time Time flying by Every moment with you Just leaving butterflies Looking at you Looking at me Eyes locked Feeling is so heavenly You're running through my thoughts Making me go crazy My feeling a type of way Got my heart pounding Got me in a love state Baby girl you're only mine Gonna stay that way Love so deep Yeah I'll pull the nine Ever leave my side Ain't no hesitation Love so sick Plan man's assassination I love you girl Squeeze ya, love ya Make you feel like a queen above all others The one for me Even though we fight like we ain't meant to be No matter if we go back and forth We always end up on the same course Baby girl, we need, we need each other You know it's true, we always come back Another looking foolish, like we gonna start, start with another, with another, with another.